have to take my chances and be brave. Piper, can you be brave too and watch the screens? I need your help. And Radio Jack will, as soon as Chug comes, starts working again. Okie dokie, Chiefy. I don't like the look of those clouds, but at least there's no more thunder. Ah! Double bumpers! This was a bad idea! Wait, what am I doing? A Chug Patroller never gives up! I'll just think about my happy place. Ice cream and sprinkles. This thunder just won't quit, but neither will I. I'm coming, Jake! away from the edge and towards me. You can do it. Ah! Come on, Jake, just think about a happy place. Like you're in the safari park and your mum is there and there's no thunder or rain and it's bright and sunny. Perfecto. Now, just take one step at a time. That's it, you can do it. Ah! Don't look back, Jake. Just get up, walk towards me, and you're home free. Stop! Stop! The lighthouse is out! This torchlight isn't bright enough. And the radio isn't working. I can't talk to the ship. Skipper Stu are trying to get its attention, but nothing is working. Stop! Stop! The lighthouse is out! You're getting too close to the rocks! Some master detective I turned out to be. Don't give up, Brewster. You can still figure this out. But how? We turned off all the lights we could find. We must have missed a clue somewhere. Like that light in the distance? Even teeny tiny clues are important. This one is actually pretty big. It's no use. We might as well... Wait! What light? It looks like it might be coming from the drop and load yard. Aha! Uh -huh. Of course! The drop and load yard! But what could be using a lot of power there? Cormac's new motor! motor. Ahoy there! Turn about! It's not safe! Oh, they can't hear us! Or see us! Come on, Brewster! Come on, Hodge! Turn off the crane! It looks like rain! Turn off the crane! They did it! Oh, Stella! had a new turbocharged throttle installed and it must be stuck because he can't stop. Look out! Oh, no! Jackman tried to stop him but now he's getting pulled along too and if he uncouples now he'll go flying. Honking horns! We should call action. No way! We finally got him to relax and take the day off. We can do this on our own. I think. Oh! Oh!
Thanks, Action Chugger. You sure saved my bumpers. You saved all of us. But you were napping. How did you know we were in trouble? I tried to turn off my super hearing, but I just couldn't. It's my round-the-clock mission to keep Chuggington safe. But we failed in our mission, to help you rest and have a day off. Well, there's something I've been trying to tell you all day. Rescuing and helping others is how I relax. Huh. Oh, yeah. I never thought of that. Oh, if those steel beams don't get here soon, this beautiful old bridge is gonna come down! Oh, what else could go wrong? Rattling rivets! I didn't really want to know! Not this time. I just have to follow the yellow tracks. Oh, no! The rain is washing away the paint! Okay, Ty, don't panic. The quarry is definitely that way. Or is it this way? I don't know which way to go. <sighs> I know what I have to do. Ty, what happened? That load's really urgent. I know. I'm sorry. I just... What is it, Ty? Uh, I don't really know my way around Chuggington yet. I should have asked for your help, Skipper Stu, but I wanted to prove to you that I was ready, like you said. You did prove it to me, by swallowing your pride and asking me now. Can you tell me how to get to the quarry? Honking horns! I can do better than that. I'll take you there. Yes, this is it, Old Bridge. We've been through a lot together. Sorry it has to end this way. Huh? Did you hear that, old friend? I'm here, Pete. I made it. And she brought help. Rattling rivets. I told you, old friend. I told you help would come. Okay, Pete. I'll hold the beams while you two unload the steel. You got it. Thanks for saving the old bridge, young chugger. It means a lot. <sighs> Maybe they wandered off because they didn't get the right food. If giving the animals the wrong food caused them to wander away from their enclosures, Maybe giving them the right food will lure them back in. <gasps> That's a great idea, Brewster. Yeah, but what is the right food? <laughs> Look, they're showing us the kind of food they really want to eat. Let's round them up. I'm back. Matombo, you, you look great. Thank you. I feel much better. So, Wilson, how did feeding time go? Uh, everything went just fine. <clears throat> well, there were a couple of teeny tiny problems, but everything's in order now. Everything? Are you sure? I found this little fellow near the Chugwash. A monkey, you can go and play your monkey games with the others now. I'm really sorry, Matambo. I wasn't paying attention, and I fed the animals the wrong food. And they all ran wild. But Wilson did ask us for help. And he worked really hard to make things right. Well, that is quite a story. Do you know what I think? What do I do? What do I do? I got it! Everything okay, Squawky? Hmm. I feel like you're trying to tell me something. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. I can see you. What are you two doing? Um, nothing. Um, we're just hanging around. Stew. 
Why are you trying to take it from the docks? I'm really sorry for sneaking around, but I had a good reason. V asked me to order this gift for Skipper Stu's anniversary tomorrow. But he didn't know it was supposed to be a surprise, so we're trying to keep it a secret. So, this is Skipper Stu's surprise gift for tomorrow? That sounds like a fun game, Coco, but uh, I should get back to work. Wait! Wait! Oh no, he's coming back! Can you help us, Ty? We have to get the container out of here before he sees it. I didn't tell you about the 75th rule of the game. You can tell me later. Uh, hi, Skipper Stu. <laughs> the containers are unloaded and ready to go. <laughs> well, how about that? Good work, Ty. And you did it all yourself? I had some help. <laughs> Squawky, of course. Oh, and Coco, I saw Brewster and Wilson. They said you should play your game at the depot. Right, the depot. Best place for the game. <laughs> Gotta go, go, go! Oh, right! We did it! That plan really came together, Brewster. Now Skipper Stu's surprise won't be ruined tomorrow. And for his years of tremendous work at the docks, we celebrate Skipper Stu's anniversary with this. Ooh. An antique anchor from one of the first ships to ever come to Chuggington. Well, well, thank you. Yeah! Wait! I'm sorry, Piper. That did not go like I planned. We wanted to give you a fun safari, but without animals, it's really, really hard. It's OK. I'm going to go now. Thanks, anyway. <sighs> that was the worst safari ever. Barely any animals. No tour. Not even a real lizard. We really let Piper down. Hello, my friends. How is your safari going? Hey, Matambo. We tried, but there just weren't enough animals. Maybe it's all the rain lately. Maybe animals don't like getting wet. Possibly. But rain can also be very helpful. Just look at how beautiful the flowers are today. They do look nice. Too bad they can't be a part of our safari. Who says they can't? Look again. But this time, look closely. <gasps> no. <gasps> that is amazing! We have to show Piper! Come on! Thanks, Matambo! <laughs> Piper, Piper, we came to tell you. There's one place we forgot to look for wildlife. The flowers. Flowers? But they aren't animals. No, but the rain helped them grow. That means they're perfect for a different kind of animal. I don't see anything. Remember, look closely. <gasps> a butterfly! <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Ooh, look at them all! <laughs> you were right. I just had to look closer. Thank you, thank you, thank you! You've got to get a move on, I mean, please. But all I want to do is catch some Z's. Getting the job done is what it's about. But can't you see I'm conking out? Try this! Rev your engine! Vroom, vroom! Flap your doors! Clang, clang! We'd better try something else than try it quick. I know what will do the trick. you got to honk yourself away. Honk yourself away. The mayor is waiting for goodness sake. There's so much at stake. Let's ramble and shake. Wake up, wake up, wake up. you got to honk yourself away. No time to lose and no time to stop. Sorry, Brewster, I'm too pooped to pop. Coco, my friend, there's not a moment to lose. But all I want to do is snooze. Try this. Rev your engine. Vroom, vroom. Flap your doors. Clang, clang. We better try something else and try it quick. I know what will do the trick. You've got to honk yourself away. Honk yourself away. The mayor is waiting for goodness sake. There's so much at stake, let's rumble and shake. Wake up, wake up, wake up. you got to honk yourself away. And then? Frostini let me try it. But I accidentally added hot sauce. And wowzers, that ice cream was spicy. Mm. And he turned bright red. Hello, Your Honour. 
Coco! Am I glad to see you. I mean, thanks for coming. I'm so sorry I'm late. I was... delayed. I'd tell you all about it, but it's kind of a snorer. <laughs> anyway, don't worry. We'll still make it to the docks in plenty of time. Excellent! Thanks, Wilson. I'll take it from here. Go, Coco! Chugga, chugga! Ah! Oh. Choo-choo! Remember, honk yourself away!